hello everyone welcome to this new video and in this video i am going to share how to create a hero section in gutenberg editor and it will be really responsive and you can use a color gradient color or image or video as a background in our hero section so it is going to be an exciting and enjoyable tutorial First of all, you have to install an activity plugin that is called the Section Builder Block. This plugin is developed by me and still now I am providing the support for this plugin. So, make sure you have installed an activity to this plugin uh, from WordPress plugin repository. Once you have finished your its installation and activation, uh, simply go to the block inserter library, you will find uh, a new block uh, under the design category that is called the container so we will use this block first drag and drop or you can simply click on this uh, suppose I want to add this uh, block in this area so I'm going to simply click you can see this is the initial output of this uh, block you can see it is giving an icon that is giving an option to add any kinds of the entire blocks and if i click at the right side of this block settings i will find there are some settings like the content width we can set the content width and pixel or an percentage unit we will find an option that is called the container padding it means you can set the custom padding for this uh, area and there are three types of device like desktop tablet and mobile so it is responsive similarly you can set the margin for this section and finally you will find there is an option that is called a background by default it has a background color you can see this is the background color you can simply change the background color as per your need and you can see there are some extra option that is called the background type so there are three types of background like the gradient and image and video background so let me show one by one first of all i want to select the content width you can select the content width in percentage or in pixel i am keeping it by default 1140 i am also keeping the same paddings and some margin you can also increase the padding like i am making 200 and i also made 200 pixel so this is the process and first of all i want to start with this background color suppose i want to create a selected color let us uh to draw a black color and i want to take a heading like heading like hello world i want to make a center the sticks and i want to make this color so white if i update and if i check out the base i will see the result you can see it. this is a result we can use a margin so i want to make this margin like bottom margin is 50 pixel this is 50 pixel and if i update and refresh i will see there are 50 pixel margin this is our desktop view we can also sense the margin in the dev uh, different devices like tablet or mobile so i want to change this and add some extra paragraph like this one I want to take this paragraph from this. These are dumb text like the lorem ipsum. I want to select this. I also want to make the center and I want to change the color like the white color. And if I update now, if I refresh the page, I can see this is the result. I want to uh, reduce the width of this content. So going to this area and I want to make it. Uh, in percentage, I want to make it like 50%. Uh, update. If I refresh the page, I will see this is the result. Yeah, this is the result. 
I want to change the background color like I want to use a gradient background so select this option once you select this option mm -hmm. you can see this is the by default gradient background you can change the background gradient or you can also select a custom gradient for your gradient pick or you can see the radial gradient or you can select the linear gradient suppose I want to use this one or this one whatever you want no problem at all and finally update and if I refresh the page I will see this is the gradient background in my hero section I can also change the font size font family whatever you want you can see there was an another option that is called the background image if you selected this this is the giving an options to add background image I want to add this image as my background image or you can select this image whatever you want or you can also upload a custom background image so this is my background image you can see the uh, text are not visible so I want to use a uh, overlay color you can see this is options it's to enable the overlay simply enable it you can pick the overlay uh, color like I want to select the a black color and increase the opacity like 80 that's mean the 80% and if I update and if I refresh I can see yeah yeah I can see this is the result but there is a problem so what's the problems actually this is the problems coming from the background size and to make it cover if I make it cover and I will see it is expand and it's cover the whole area so this is the result uh, similarly you can change this background uh, position and change the background to like this position or you can remove this and add in another like this one I can add this no problem at all there is an important option that is called enable the parallax effect of this background if I enable this one and if I update, I will see the background is fixed in a position. If I scroll, you can see the background is fixed. This is the parallax effect by default uh, behavior of the CSS and what uh, HTML. So, uh, last one I want to show you about the video background. If you selected this video background, you can see it is giving an option to add the background video so I want to upload this one this is my video and I want to select you can see it is it's looking really awesome you can also remove this one and I can add another one whatever you want so finish it and if I update and if I reload to the pairs I will see this is an amazing result yes you can easily build your hero section with color or like gradient color or image or video background whatever you like and you can design your hero section it is really enjoyable i hope you have understood it and you have liked the plugins if you like this plugins please never forget to give a five star ratings and a better testimonial if you have any more questions please uh, write your question in the comment box. Have a good day.